Hey, it's Doris with all the books. And I'm here with a belated September book haul. I don't know why I didn't haul some of these books in September. I have forgotten at this point in time, but here we are. And you know, I'm all about accountability this year. So I'm hauling them now. Um, this one is actually Gabriel's. Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. He's reading it currently for um, his English class. There you go. Um, these, let's see, these next three, four, five, these are books um, that I had on pre-order. So I really like these authors and I want to support them. So these were pre-order books. So I got Jacqueline Woodson's Red at the Bone. Uh, I have actually already finished this one. It's um, written not in free verse, maybe in prose poetry. Anyway. It's abbreviated and very um, emotive and very gorgeous, gorgeously written. Jacqueline Woodson knows her way around the English language, people. And then um, Child of the Dream, a memoir of 1963 by Sharon Robinson. Uh, Sharon Robinson is a middle grades author and I am really appreciating her a lot lately. I, I just got turned on to her um, this past summer and yeah I have been looking for more of her work and this is her latest release um, daughter of Jackie Robinson and she really likes to share, share um, his legacy and I appreciate that uh, and then this author I I've read two of her books and want to read everything she ever writes now but this is Butterfly Yellow by Tana Lai. Um, this one I believe is YA and a novel. Um, her other two were a little bit more mature middle grades slash YA. And one was in free verse and the other um, a regular novel. But yeah, I am super, super excited to get to this one. She is a fabulous author. Um, talking about what it's like to be um, an immigrant and you know, that's, that's the clientele I work with as an ESL teacher. So I really appreciate her. Um, then I got The Dutch House by Ann Patchett. Yeah. Nashville Proud and I have heard Tom Hanks narrates the audiobook, reads the audiobook, so I think I might want to do that. And Ta-Nehisi Coates, The Water Dancer. Had to get that one after reading Eight Years in Power. Such a brilliant mind, so I'm curious to see um, what he does with fiction. I've only read his nonfiction. I don't know if he's written fiction yet until now. Um, I'm super curious to see where he goes with this. Okay, and then you may have seen my <laughs> bookstore pilgrimage vlog for Ducks Newburyport. So, yes, I got the brick. It comes in at just under three pounds. No kidding. I weighed them because I brought one for myself, Heidi, and Will. We're buddy reading it right now. So, I just... I just weighed them because I thought it was funny. Anyway, um, Ducks Newburyport by Lucy Elman. So far, I am really liking it a lot. And so are Will and Heidi. Um, so, and it's interesting because um, Heidi and I are this woman, this 40 something. Um, in the mind <laughs> woman here. Um, but Will has just graduated uh, with a biology degree and is, you know, working in the field. So it's interesting to um, 
hear his perspective on the book and he feels like he's you know gelling with his mom a little more reading this so it's just really interesting um and camel from what camel reads just put out a video on it as well really excellent um and while i was in the bookstore i mean obviously i couldn't just buy the three <laughs> i picked up late migrations by margaret wrinkle a natural history of love and loss um I had seen this one once before and just forgotten about it, but I'm really excited that I um, was reminded of it in the bookstore. But it's um, a nature kind of memoir set in Tennessee. So, and the author's brother has some art in the book as well. So, excited to get to that one. And then Will, whom I'm reading Duck Newberry Part with, he sent me a book in return. So Will sent me Inland by Taya Obrett. This is the author of The Tiger's Wife, which I have not read, but hear great things about a bestseller and a signed copy. So thanks so much, Will. I am not sure what this is about, but I'm excited nonetheless because I have heard that it's a good one okay and then i made another book outlet haul <laughs> so oops the reason i did it this time there's always a reason there always is so this time it's kate howell's fault <laughs> um i like to buddy read with her every year for victober and this year we um we're reading The Princess and the Goblin together by George MacDonald. This is like a middle grade or children's book, actually. Um, Victorian. But, you know, when we said, oh, let's read that one, I said, there's no way it's going to be on Book Outlet. I thought it was like an obscure title, but it's not. And it was there. They had like two editions. So I was like, whoa, I guess I got to make a Book Outlet order. So I got that. I also actually, I did kind of well, actually. Um, this is one I had in my cart for a couple months since my last order. Um, the Pot Liquor Papers, A Food History of the Modern South by John T. Edge. Uh, Kendra Winchester put me onto this one and I have was stocking the cart, like hoping that I wouldn't lose it before I placed my order. So. I was glad that Kate, you know, got me to go ahead and make that order. So I got that. Um, Heidi from My Reading Life um, had gotten these two at Book Outlet. And I went ahead and snagged them as well. I'm going to be reading um, South African works in January. Every January, I pick um, a region that has a lot of social and political conflict to read from and this year i'm reading south africa so heidi had found these two on book outlet the shining girls by lauren bukes i think this one might be a mystery but i'm not sure and this one uh kaffir boy the true story of a black youth's coming of age in apartheid south africa by mark matten bay and this is a an autobiography so there's those and then um these I had missed. I didn't check out in time. I'm really a big Margarita Ingle fan as well. She's another um, middle grade YA um, story in verse writer. So I got Enchanted Air, Two Cultures, Two Wings, a memoir. So really excited that it's a memoir. And then Soaring Earth, a companion memoir to Enchanted Air. So I'm not sure um, you know, what's going on with these two, but I know they're going to be excellent. She's a great, great writer. She was the, um, she's a Newbery Honor winning writer, but also was the, um, Young People's Poet Laureate for a few years. Um, and then I picked up The Girl from the Other Side, Volume 1. This is by Nagabi, who's the artist and, and um, author. This is a manga. I actually read this one last night as well. 
So it was fine. Um, I I like um, graphic novels and manga um, that are historical. Uh, the stories don't always do it for me, but I think if you like manga, you might like this. Anyway, this is not a review wrap up. This is just a haul. <laughs> and last but not least, I got Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. And I am starting the 13th tale um, Monday, I think, with Lindsay from Lindsay Reads. So, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will be back soon. Bye.